Hey guys, Cecily back here, and today we're going to be doing a DIY in English. Sorry I haven't, post <laughs> I haven't been posting um, that recently. Um, I did do a Q&A with my sister, but I'm probably not going to post it. That's fine. But yeah, thumbs up. Um, because we got we hit 15 subscribers I'm really uh, hoping that we get 20 so subscribe and let's begin I feel like I should be one of those like DIY people but like you know the cuts like in the background is like all like fancy and you're like ah. and stuff like that. I don't know. Is that just me? Is anyone else doing that? Hey guys, and today we're gonna make, be making a cute little pouch. Just to hold your note cards or just your notes. You know, I have my French in here. Yeah, French. Anyway, you can use this for like, you can even decorate it, guys. You can decorate it. I am not really a DIY person, but you know, I'm, in French, I was really bored, so I just like kind of keep myself in lots of paper, some scissors, some tape. I just made that because I was really bored, and I was really proud. So that's why I'm making a cute video with it. But yeah. Anyway, so um, the reason I'm making this. Um, it's because whenever you like you get note cards or something, you usually put like a rubber band over it, like this, to hold them all together. And this can be annoying because it can like fall out like that, and then all your notebooks just fall apart. Or they could like be damaged. For example, if you have a really thick, um, like a really, really thick thing of note cards, and you put like sort of small, um, thing around it, then it gets like right here up top, it can be like bent in because it's so tight and then it could damage your note cards. So, and I hate when that happens. It's so annoying. So that's why I made this. It was my friend's idea. And I thought it was super creative and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna make it. So, what you're gonna need for this is first a little book. This is my House of Gum book, so where I write my homework in. And I just put it at the back. Or you, you can also just not put it in a book. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Um, you're going to need some tape. Tape. Some normal see-through tape. Like that. Um, some scissors. Or scissors. You can use it. Well, yeah. Pencil. And paper. And also, you can have colored pencils if you want. I can't find this one right now. To color it. Because, see how I did this one rainbow? Okay, I'm going to put another one here. Okay. 
So first step is to sort of like draw the base of it. So you're gonna draw like, I don't know, here and here. Just draw a square like this, a reasonable square like that. If you guys can see that, yeah, like that. And then right next to it, you might even want to to get this perfect. You might even want to. Um, see its measurements, measure it, and do it perfectly. So, ten and four. So, this is a four. So, this is zero. And then see if you can do it. There we go. And you're going to drop two squares right there. And on the second one, or on one of the ones, you're just going to draw like a triangle off the, at the top. Oh, this is a really bad triangle. Like that. Triangle at the top. So two squares. And then you're going to cut these out with your scissors. So I already cut mine out. Here they are. This is what you, it should look like. You can even already fold the triangle down. There we go. Like this. Fold this triangle down right where the crease is. Or no, I don't want to say. Right where it starts becoming a square. Like that. Like that. Okay, so now we're gonna take you're gonna take both of your little figures and place them on top of each other like this. So you know, as you can see, like that. And make sure Make sure um, the one with the flap in the back is in the back, so it folds over like this. Now you're gonna take some tape, and you're gonna pick a side, and start at the very top of your bottom. Whichever one you want. Put the tape on. There we go, tape it on like that, right there. So it was like, in, oh, like that. So now you make a smaller piece and put it right where that corner is. And if there's a little bit extra hanging off, see that? You can just, oops. You can just cut it right there. So now this side, I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it is taped together, sort of like that. Now you're going to take um, another piece of paper and you're going to start by the other side and also tape it. Now, both of the sides are close together. But you still have, oh, there we go. Now you can see the tape. But you still have this little gap right here at the bottom. So what you're gonna do is, I find it e the easiest to take one long piece of tape and put it like that at the bottom, so just because I really don't want it to fall out. The bottom is the biggest hole. Oh no, no. It can easily fall out. Oh my gosh, this is 
so hard. How do DIY people do this? Why am I calling it DIY people? Okay. Okay. There we go. So now there's no holes at the bottom. So you can see, you can see my, you can see my fingers through the tape, but it, it's sealed off. So now, there we go. Okay. Put, you can put the cards in here. You can even stop now and just have it as a little pocket thing. I think it's even bigger than what, how big my card, my cards are. Which I find really nice. And I use this sort of hard um, paper. I know, just the regular white paper that you have at home. So now you can ha have the choice of coloring it or just leaving it plain. I don't know if I'm going to color it. I might not. I might. We'll have to see. So you can either stop now or... Well, actually, no, you can't stop now. So now we're going to just take your pencil and fold the triangle down. And now we're going to measure exactly where the triangle is and make sort of like a, um, I just forgot what a shape was called. Mm. Above the okay, just like this. Yeah, just like this. So this is where you're gonna cut a hole and then Put your little triangle in so it actually goes in and stays down. I'm gonna make it a little um, closer, a little up. Like there. Perfect. Ah, my eye. Okay, so now you're just gonna go in with your scissors. Careful with this part. You might even need smaller scissors. Just like this. Now we have oh now we have a little hole there. So now we can tuck in a little triangle like that. Um this is getting really long. Now you can choose to tape it onto your book. Or just tape it onto something else. I don't know. Just whatever you want. And yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh.